Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this presentation, we're going to be looking at one of our introductory geometry lessons. We're going to be looking at how to find the area of composite shapes, basically shapes made primarily with rectangles. Don't forget there are some practice problems at the end of this presentation for you to try out to demonstrate mastery of the presentation. All right, instructions for the examples that we're working on are for to us to find the area of the given shapes. All right, so let's take a look at question number one. So question one is a regular shape, okay? If we'll, we've talked about regular shapes, they are identifiable shapes like squares, circles, triangles, basic shapes like that. So this right here is a regular shape, namely a rectangle, okay? And we have to find the area of it. All right, so if we want to find the area of a rectangle, let's go ahead and specify what the formula is for finding the area of a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is basically length times width, okay? Um, so in this rectangle, let's call this the length, and 12 the width is interchangeable, however you want to call it. Remember, multiplication commutes, right? So in this particular problem, our length is five meters long and our width is 12 meters long. So what does the area represent? The area basically represents the region enclosed by the boundaries of this rectangle, okay? So let's say you are trying to paint a rectangle or wall that have these dimensions, then this is how much square footage of paint um, you will need square meters to be specific of paint you need to cover the wall all right so remember area you're looking at the interior and then for perimeter you're looking at the boundaries okay so the area of this rectangle we're just simply going to substitute these values length and width into the area formula okay so the length is 5 we'll multiply that by the width which is 12 5 times 12 is 60 now, since we're multiplying two meters, it's going to be meters square. All right, square is the dimension for area. Okay, length square is the dimension for area. Okay, so there goes the answer to question number one. So now that we've reviewed how to find the area of a rectangle, we're now going to increase the level of complexity slightly and now look at an irregular shape. Now, if you take a look at number two, what shape is this? Can you name it? Is this a square? Is it a circle? Triangle? Rectangle? It's a composite shape or an irregular shape. It is made up of identifiable shapes. Okay? So the strategy here is to break down this irregular shape into a regular shape, a combination of regular shapes. Okay? You always want to use the least amount of shapes. Okay, just keeping the problem, breaking it down into a simpler situation, not a less, a more complex scenario. Okay, so you see this L-shaped scenario that we have right here. Can you see how we can break this up into a combination of regular shapes? To break this up, uh, there are two ways we can do it. I'll recommend breaking it this way, in this direction right here. Bam. So if we break it in that direction, what do we have? You notice we have two rectangles. Okay, so it's just a situation where we have question number one twice. And then when we're done finding the area of these two rectangles, then we just add up the sum. I mean, we add up the areas or find the sum of the areas, right? So this is rectangle one, and this is rectangle two. And they just simply find the areas of both rectangles and then find what the sum of the two areas are. Okay, so just to make sure that we don't make any mistakes, we wanna separate them clearly. So this is rectangle one right here. Bam, you see that rectangle one? We're gonna take rectangle one and place it um, to the side. Right here, that's rectangle one, the, the smaller one. And then rectangle two, is the bigger one right this gigantic rectangle right here you see that we're going to extract that and set it to the side now the beauty of 
separating it clearly is to avoid making mistakes okay so now that we've separated the two rectangles the two composite rectangles see if i place this on top of here is exactly what we have in the original problem right so now that we have them separated this is very important you have to label the rectangles completely okay so you can easily find what the area is so this is rectangle one and this is rectangle two all I need to find the area here uh, for both of them are the length and the widths okay so for rectangle one we have a three up here three meters that's good we know that and then here we have 10 so this 10 spans both rectangles okay so we're gonna have to do some arithmetic computation to determine which part belongs to rectangle one and which portion belongs to rectangle two okay all right so let's go to the rectangle two to see if that can help us figure out what the um length of rectangle one is okay because this is three and this is three opposite sides of rectangles are congruent we don't know what this side is yet right all right so for rectangle two we know that it's six meters on the left side which automatically means that it's six meters on the right opposite sides of rectangles are congruent okay eight meters on the bottom eight meters on the top rectangle two is good to go we know the length and the width so for rectangle two this is the width right here and then the length is six meters rectangle one how can we figure out this length right here this side length how long is that well what we know is that when rectangle one is stacked on top of rectangle two which is six meters long the combined length height is 10 okay so a portion of this 10 namely this part right here is how long this portion is make it blue this portion is six meters the portion that's captured by the um, rectangle two so that's six meters all right so this is six meters and the entire thing is ten how many more meters do you have to travel to get to ten starting from six what is this right here It's simply six I mean ten the entire thing minus six all right so this side is going to be ten minus six which is four so this side right here is four and this side right here is four and this is six all right does that make sense four plus six gives you ten the exact uh, combined uh, length of both of the two rectangles okay so let's put that in here this is four and this is four now we're good to go with rectangle one all right so don't forget when you have an irregular shape you want to label them break them apart find all the measures sometimes you might have to do some arithmetic when you don't find any of the measures then you can start to find the area all right so the area of the irregular shape here for this particular problem is basically going to be the area of rectangle one let's call it a one not the sauce and the area of rectangle two a two okay so a1 we're going to use the same formula for rectangles as length times width okay so for rectangle one this is the length and this is the width so for a1 is four times three which is 12 that's the area of rectangle one the area of rectangle two is still length times width right the area of all rectangles are length times width the length is eight sorry the length is six multiplied by the width which is eight okay so I put the length here so this is the width of rectangle two and this is the width of rectangle one okay all right what is six times eight six times eight is 48 so now that we have both uh, component rectangle areas we can now figure out what the area of the entire composite shape is okay so the combined area area of the irregular shape is going to be oh, that's too thick the area is going to be the sum of the two all right 
is going to be uh, 12 plus 48. Just add them up. 12 plus 48. Eight, 2 plus 8 is 10. Carry 160 square meters. 60 meters square. That is the area of the irregular shape. Okay, so this one right here was 12 meters square. And this one was 48. And then together, 12 plus 48, we get our final area which is 60 meters square. So that's the area of the irregular shape. All right, let's take a look at one more example before we give you some practice problems to try out. So we're looking for the area of this um, irregular or composite um, shape right here. So we can clearly see that it's made up of two rectangles. So how can we break it up? What is the least amount of rectangles that we can break this up in to find the area? Do you see how to break it up? You want to break it up with a vertical line or a horizontal line? Ladies and gentlemen, the best way to do this is to break it up in um, this direction right here. You want to break it up, uh, let's put, make it red, in this direction right here. Bam! You see that? So we have only two rectangles. Let's label them rectangle one and rectangle two. So if we can find out what the areas of rectangle one and two are, then we will be able to find out what the area of the irregular shape is. Okay. All right. So um, what we're going to do is let's write down the procedure. So area of the irregular shape is basically a1 plus a2 area of the first one times area of the second one okay so what we're going to do is break it apart separate the two rectangles and find their measures completely so this is the rectangle one the rectangle on top you see that right there let's pull that out so the rectangle on top that's a1 and then we have the rectangle that's basically vertical, the one on the bottom right here. See this rectangle right here? That's the second one. Okay. That's area rectangle two. Let's set that to the side. So if we put them together, bam, we get the original one, right? So let's set that to the side right here. And then let's label them. This is rectangle one and two. Now we want to find the dimensions completely. Okay. The rectangle one is easy to find because we know the, the, the width is 12 meters. Bam. No problem with that. And the length is three. Excellent. But we have to do some work with this one. So for rectangle two, the length is nine. Okay. You see right here, 9, 9. Remember, opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So that's 9 units long. But what's the width of rectangle 2, though? Well, we have to do some calculations there. Now, we can see that the, um, the total length, the total width of rectangle 1 is 12 meters, okay? And at the bottom, we have 8 meters and 2 meters, including the width of rectangle 2, right? Which we don't know. But we know that if we combine... Oh, that's 3. It's not 3. We know that if we combine this width of rectangle 2 with 8 and 2, guess what? If we combine 8 plus 2, so this whole, side, this whole length right here is 8 and 2... And this missing piece right here, this width, if we add them all together, guess what? We get 12. Okay, so 8 plus W plus 2 is 12. Or 8 plus 2, which is 10, 10 plus W is 12. So what's this number? What is What must this number be in order for, it, for us to get 12 when we add it to 8 and 2? That's the question. So to do that, you could do it mentally, right? It's a subtraction problem and addition to. Uh, if you take out 2 from 12, you get 10. Take out 8 from 10, 
you get two. So this is two. Let me show you the steps. So the entire length is 12, right? We're going to subtract the left side, which is eight, and the right side, which is two. Bam, right? So 12, the entire length minus those two other lengths will give us the W length. Um, 12 minus 10 is 2. Bam! So this piece right here is 2 meters. 2 meters, 2 meters, top and bottom. Okay? So now we know the dimensions of both rectangles. Now we can find their individual areas. So for A1, the area of the first rectangle is going to be length times width. Okay? The width is 12, the length is 3. So the area of the first rectangle is 3 times 12, which is 36. And then the area of the second rectangle, still length times width, that's the formula of area of a rectangle. This is the width. This right here is the length. So we're going to go length 9 times the width, which is 2. 9 times 2 is 18. Okay. 18 meters square is the area of the... Um, of rectangle 2 and 36 meters square is the area of rectangle 1. So the total area of this figure right here is A1 which is 36 plus 18 which is A2, the area of the second rectangle. Alright, so when we add them up, you can stack it up to add. 6 plus 8 is um, 14. Carry one, 54 meter square. That's the area right there of the composite shape. Okay, so let me just put it in so you can see. So for A1, the area is, uh, what was the area? 36. Okay, and then for this one, the area was 18. So the area together, you just simply add these two individual areas to get the total area of the irregular shape or you can call it composite it's called composite because it's a composition of two regular shapes namely rectangles in this case alrighty so here are some practice problems for you to try out um, go ahead and pause the video presentation and try out these three questions the task is the same as uh, before you are to find the area okay find the area as soon as you're done with the practice problems, click on the playback button and we are going to reveal what the correct answers are. Alrighty, welcome back. So hopefully you had a chance to try the three practice problems. Here are the answers to question one to three. Go ahead and check your work. So how did you do? If you did well on these practice problems, go ahead and destroy that like button for us. If you have any questions, specify it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Don't forget we have tons of support resources to help you out in your study of mathematics at mathgotserve.com or just take a look at the links in the descriptions below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.